Hello everybody. Now let's do some uh, MCQs in the chapter arithmetic progressions. So let's start with it. So one of the basic questions which can get in an AP. Uh, so see over here. The first three terms of an AP respectively are this and this and this. Then you have to find the value of Z. AP obviously uh, means arithmetic progression needless to say. So these three terms are in AP. What does it mean? Just suppose that this is the first term A1, A2 and A3, right? So what is the definition of an AP guys? You know that difference between a term and its previous term, difference between a term and its previous term that is same. Yes or no? So A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2. So what is A2 over here? It is 2z minus 5 minus what is a1? a1 is 2z plus 1 and what is a3 over here? a3 is 5z plus 1 minus what is uh, a2 over here? It is 2z minus 5. I hope it is clear up till here. So you just need to simplify this equation and solve for x. So open up the bracket, you will get 2z minus 5 minus 2z minus 1 and that is equal to 5z plus 1 minus 2z plus 5, right? So you see over here, you can cancel out this. So you'll get minus 6 over here and this is equal to 5z minus 2z is what guys? 3z and this is plus 6 over here. So you'll get 3z is equal to minus 12. So from here, can we say that z is equal to minus 4? Clear or not? So therefore, z is equal to minus 4 is the answer. I hope it is clear. A basic question on the, the most basic property of an arithmetic progression. So let us take the next question. If 7 times the 7th term of an AP is equal to 5 times the 5th term. So you have to find the value of its 12th term. So just write what is given in the question. 7 times. Okay, and before that, needless to say, the first term is not given, the common difference is not given. So just assume that the first term is A and the common difference is D, right? So 7 times the 7th term, 7 times the 7th term is equal to 5 times the 5th term, 5 times the 5th term. This is given over here. So let's simplify it. So you know the formula to find the nth term of an AP is A plus N minus 1 into D. So 7th term will be a plus 7 minus 1 into d that is a plus 6d. In the same manner, fifth term will be a plus 4d. So you can simplify this thing. So you'll get 7a plus 7 6 are 42d. And this is 5a plus 5 4 are 20d. If you further simplify, you'll get 2a plus, if you take it on this side, what will you get guys? You'll get 22d over here. And that is equal to 0. If I divide on both these sides by 2, what will I get? I will get a plus 11d to be equal to 0. Now what does this tell me? a plus 11d is nothing but 12th term, right? Because a 12 will be a plus 12 minus 1 into d. So it is a plus 11d. Therefore, the 12th term of this AP is 0. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question on AP. The 21st term from the last term of an AP last term or from the last or from the end it can be given. So there is a formula to find the nth term from the last of an AP. The nth term from the last of an AP is, uh, I'll write nth term from the end. See I'm not explaining the concept over here that how and why from where this formula is coming. Everything I had already discussed in the board brahmastra series on the infinity learn grade 9 and 10 youtube channel so for any conceptual problem just go on to uh, infinity learn grade 9 and 10 youtube channel and check out the playlist over there so the nth term from the end of an ap is l minus n minus 1 into d where l is the last term so last term is already given that is minus 62 and n minus 1 n is the uh, position so 21st term you have to find so 21 minus 1 and what is D? D is the common difference. So D over here will be difference between a term and its previous term. So 7 minus 10. So that is equal to minus 3. So just put over here minus 3. So we'll simplify this minus 62. See this is coming out to be 20 minus 3. So this will be 60. So plus 60 you will get. 
So the answer over here is minus 2. So minus 2 is the 21st term from the end of this AP. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question. This is one of the important questions. You already know. See, we are, not, we are doing nothing new over here. We are just revising the whole thing so that you can get a compact information. Right? So Sn is the sum of the first n terms of an AP. You have to find its 12th term. Sn is sum of the first n terms of this AP, of any AP, right? So you see over here, what is Sn? It is sum of the first n terms. So can I find S1? S1 is equal to what, guys? Can I put n is equal to 1 over here? So S1 over here will be 8. Now what is S1? S1 is nothing but the first term. I hope it is clear. S1 is nothing but the first term of this AP. Now what is S2? If I find S2, what is that? In place of n, you can put 2 over here. So let's put 2. So it will be 5 4 is a 20 plus 6, 26. S2 is 26 over here. Correct? Now what is S2? S2 is the sum of the first two terms. So can I say that it is equal to A1 plus A2? And this is nothing but equal to 26. Now you see A1 we already know. A1 we already know that is 8. So in place of a1, you can put 8, a1 plus a2, that is equal to 26. So can I say that a2 over here is 18? So a2 is coming out to be 18. Now what is common difference? Common difference d, can I write that it is a2 minus a1, guys? So a2 is 18, a2 is 18, a1 is 8. So 18 minus 8 is 10. This is the common difference. Now we have to find the 12th term of that AP. So 12th term will be what guys? A12 will be A plus N minus 1 into D. So it will be A1 plus 11D. Can I say that? Now A1 we already have got. A1 is 8, 11D. D we have already got. D is equal to 10 over here. So this is 110 plus 8. That is 118. So this is the answer. Any doubt in this question guys? So actually there is one more method to do this question but I am not taking it over here because, because this method is simpler than that method. I hope it is clear. Try doing this one as well. The sum of this series for n is equal to 11. Basically you have to find the sum of the first 11 terms of this AP. So basically this is the first term, this is the second term and so on. So you have to find the sum of the first 11 terms. S n, S 11 you have to find. Okay, so just see it guys. So basically if I simplify, can I write it like this? 5 plus 5 plus 5 dot 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 n times. Can I say it like this guys? 5 plus 5 plus 5 and so on up till n times. Then I can take, you see out of these things, can I take minus 1 by n as common? I can take minus 1 by n as common. And what will I be left with in the bracket? 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on, yes or no? 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on. This is also up till n. Yes or no? Because n times you are taking it. Now 5 if you take n times, what will you get? 5 if you take n times, it will be 5n. Yes or no? Minus 1 by n. And you see what is there in the bracket. In the bracket you have got 1 plus 2 plus 3 up till n. That is some of the first n natural numbers. And some of the first n natural numbers is what? n n plus 1 by 2 and n plus 1 by 2. So this will get cancelled out. So this will be equal to 5n minus n plus 1 by 2. I hope it is clear. So let us simplify it. What will you get over here? If you simplify, you will get 10n minus n minus 1 by 2. So this is nothing but equal to 9n minus 1 by 2. And you have to find this for 11, n is equal to 11. So just put n is equal to 11, that's it. So if you put n is equal to 11 in this, what will you get? 99 minus 1. So 99 minus 1 is 98 by 2, that is 49. So 49 is the answer. I don't know, coincidentally, option D is coming for most of the questions. I hope it is clear. So that's all we needed to do in MCQs in the chapter Arithmetic Progressions.